11-5 is the volumes of pyramids and cones, and we'll first try to connect 11-5 to what we've already learned in 11-4. Above you'll see several pyramids enclosed in rectangular prisms. What is the relationship between the volume of the prisms and the corresponding pyramids? We remember our formula, volume equals area of the base times height, and so if I focus on that very left prism and rectangular pyramid, the area of the base it looks like it's a 2 by 2 base. So there's the area of the base. I multiply by the height. I'm going to end up with 12 meters cubed for the prism. When I compare that to my pyramid that's enclosed within it, I see that it's 4 meters cubed. So it looks as if the prism is 3 times larger than the pyramid that's within it. But to check that, let me look at the next one also. So I'll focus on this top one here. So to find the volume Again, I do the area of the base times height, so the base is a 2 by 3 times 1, which is the height, and this gives me 6 centimeters cubed, and it appears as if it works. The pyramid that's enclosed is 2 centimeters cubed, the prism is 6 centimeters cubed, and so one way of saying it is the prism is 3 times larger, Another way of saying it is the pyramid is one-third of the volume of the prism. So now there's our formula to find the volume of a pyramid, and you'll see that one-third. It's the exact same formula as a prism. The only difference is we're going to multiply our product by one-third at the end. So we'll use that formula now to find the volume of the pyramid that's located in Paris outside the Louvre Museum. So we're given certain information kind of hard to read down here, but it is a square pyramid with a side length of 35.4 meters. We'll need to know that, so we always write down our formula first. Now to find the area of the base, since it's a square, we could really just do length times width. Well, the length and the width are the same, so I can write that as 35.4 squared, and then I multiply that by my height, which I'm given in the problem which is 21.64. So now I'll just multiply that out to get my final volume. And my answer is 9,039.5 units are in meters, so meters cubed. Now I'll use that same formula. What is the volume of a square pyramid with slant height 25? And now this is going to add one more element. Remember that our formula requires the height of our pyramid. Well, all we're given in this case is a slant height, so we need to build on our previous knowledge about Pythagorean's theorem, and so we're going to take that slant height, which is really the hypotenuse of a right triangle. The leg at the bottom here of the right triangle is going to be half of the side length, so this will be 20, and then we'll just label this as h. We're looking for h right now. 20 squared plus h squared equals 25 squared. 20 squared is 400 plus h squared equals 625. Now we just do some algebraic manipulations. Take the square root now and we end up with h equals 15. So now I can go back to my formula and start substituting in 1 third times 40 squared times the height, which I now found is 15, and now we can multiply that out. So my answer is 8,000 feet cubed.